are you Robin? It's good to hear you. Good to see you, Javier. Good to see you too. I see you all over the country, but finally I came to your hometown. <laughs> oh, thank Nashville. you so much. <laughs> no, thank you for bringing us uh, here for a very good reason. Uh, this is uh, the new, what is it, 2017? 2017. Nissan Rogue Sport. Nissan. And this car, I mean, the, the regular Rogue has been like a huge, huge success. Incredible numbers. Tell us a little bit about that, please. It's true. Well, we had an all new, like fresh minor change in fall of 2017 for our 17 Nissan Rogue and just the right combination of the right marketing message with the right vehicle in the dealership at the right time with our refreshed product we've actually sold over 100,000 Nissan Rogues in the first three months of this calendar year so to put it in simpler numbers like more than a thousand a day that's crazy right. <laughs> crazy I mean and without, and without that... sold all the other SUVs all the other sedans the only thing that's beat us is the big threes uh, full-size pickups okay, okay, okay. that's amazing oh, well, and that's a trend in the whole industry and I guess that's the reason for this car coming into uh, the market in the US right that's correct so we've noticed that the total industry is starting to move away from sedans and compact hatch and it's actually moving into the rogue rogue sports segment but the major part of the growth is in that smaller compact SUV segment so we yeah. brought over the global Nissan Qashqai and we've named it rogue sport so we're capitalizing on the Rogue name and uh, we're really hoping that this size combination with the right price will be what the consumers are asking for and what we feel that the consumers are asking for. Okay, let's, okay, let's start with the price since you mentioned it. This is really affordable, starts around 21 Yes, uh, S-Trim front wheel drive starts at $21,420. And it it's goes over $2,000 a... cheaper than an S-Trim Rogue. Wow, and the, the, the top of the level, which is this one, the SL? This is an SL drive. Platinum and it's around 32 32. So you have a good range. People can choose any of the trims. But the interesting thing is that you have all-wheel drive available in all the trims, right? That's correct. You can get a base trim S and a front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive, or you can get a fully loaded and still front-wheel drive. Another thing, drive. another thing that is available is all the safety technology that comes from the Rogue and actually from all the Nissan products. That's, that's correct. Uh, still a Nissan. Still need to you know push the safety message that we have that we're doing a corporate wide and the Rogue Sport still delivers on all of that. So we still have forward emergency braking with pedestrian detection, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot warning, yeah. lane departure warning and prevention. It's all still available even in this little compact package on the Rogue Sport. So now let's talk about the differences because obviously there are some. There are some differences. Uh, Rogue Sport is about a foot shorter, 12 okay. inches shorter in length and about five and a half inches shorter in height. But it still has all the maneuverability that you'd expect for, for a really urban, compact little SUV. A lot of cargo capacity, only nine cubic feet smaller. Yeah, I was, I was checking the numbers and they have, they, I mean, even though it's a foot shorter and, and I mean, yeah, for shorter lengthwise shorter, and yeah. like uh, five inches shorter on, on the height. I mean, you didn't lose much for the leg room or no. like shoulder room. Uh, this is pretty much the same, yeah, right? Yeah, tread is actually carry over between the two models. Yeah. So you're going to notice that the wheelbase is about two and a half inches shorter and like gives a little bit more on road flexibility as far as maneuverability, rain, turning radius. But majority of the 12 inches of shortness, you really don't see it. Nine cubic feet in the cargo, four inches of leg room in the second row. But again, this is pushed more towards a, a more millennial or yeah. urban younger buyer, probably only going to have people in his back seat occasionally. And in the city, uh, a, a foot uh, difference in length, it's a big difference. I mean, for parking spots and Absolutely. stuff like that. Uh, but what about the engine and the, the, the rest of the engineering for that part of the, of the car? Is it different? Yes. It's the same? Yes, it actually has a different powertrain. The Rogue has our 2.5 liter four cylinder and the Rogue Sport is a two liter four cylinder. And it has 141 horsepower and 147 uh, foot pounds of torque, which for this vehicle being about 300 pounds lighter than a Rogue, it actually compensates, and compensates and, yeah. all of that. So it's still very quiet and uh, well, well suited for this vehicle. Uh, what about the transmission? The transmission is still a CVT between the two units. They've been, you know, specifically optimized for each of the powertrains, uh, but they're basically the same. Okay, so for people who just hear the word CVT and they want to kill themselves, what do we have to say? Well, CVTs have come a long way. It's still, we have what we call D-step technology, and what we've done is we've tuned the transmission to make it feel like an automatic, but you still get all the same, you know, fuel economy savings that you do experience with the CVT. 
The main thing about a continuously variable transmission is that it will always have the optimal RPM range for the engine, so you're always getting the best fuel economy. That's something yeah, important Yeah, so there's no lag of uh, power when you, when you switch. That's correct. What, what's the difference, basically, with, between a CVT and an automatic transmission? Well, automatic Mechanically, trans I guess, yeah. or something. So there's specific gears, and as the size goes up, you're going to be able to bring a vehicle, let's say you need instantaneous, you need sudden power, like say you're cr at cruising speed and you're trying to pass someone on the freeway. Yeah. That the vehicle's transmission will downshift into a lower gear and give you that power and then shift back up. With a CVT, what it'll do is it'll gradually make you go all the way down, but you don't have that lag. So it'll get you there quicker. So you have to get that power quicker. Yeah. And again, that technology, as you mentioned, has evolved a lot. And it was it's Nissan cool. one of the first one that, it, that we had were. it, right? Yes. Like, in what car was it? The Murano? Uh, Murano. First yeah. generation Murano. Yeah, exactly. That's what I remember. And like a lot of people didn't like it because obviously, I mean, that was like almost 20 years ago. Maybe 10. 10 or, <laughs> yeah, but things have changed in 10 years. Things have changed <laughs> quite a bit. So it's, you know, actually the technology, you know, we've embraced it here at Nissan, but there's other automakers who also yeah. have started using it. So don't freak out when you hear CVT. Please don't. A it's new, a, a new CVT. There you go. <laughs> and uh, being the top of the line, I mean, these materials and everything you touch, it's like really, really high quality. Same, you know, it's still Nissan. So high PQ is required, you know, perceived quality. So we have soft touch features such as, you know, this bolster has been padded, you know, the, the steering wheel is, you know, got the leather grip. Yeah. It's uh, all maintained, you know, it still has a Nissan name. And it has the road name, so it has to make sure that it still stands up to that. that yeah, it's, uh, we've, we've driven it like uh, 100 miles already today, and it's really, it really handles well in the corners and like the, the hills here in Nashville. Nothing that we have in Miami, which is flight and <laughs> <laughs> But so it's really enjoy, enjoy to drive. But uh, can I complain about one thing? Sure. Only one thing? What's up? What happened here? Oh, I'm missing something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sport. Come on. Well, we do have sport transmission. Yeah, here. You can do it here, by You can do it on the manual. But maybe something to add on, like maybe you add another sport plus. Add in that to my list. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Robin. It's really enjoyable to drive with you anywhere Absolutely. where we Anytime meet you. Here. So we're gonna keep driving here. Beautiful day, by the way. I mean, we I heard that it was a lot of rain before, so I, we brought the Miami weather with us. Yes. Thank you, but keep your humidity, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.